Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to your final part of your Macedonia qualification run. We are here at the World Cup because we qualified for it in the last video. I know, spoiler alert, if you've only just stumbled on this video before the other two, but if you want to see what happened, then you can always go back and check it out if you want to. But this is our group for this run. And we have got the Czech Republic, Ivory Coast and Egypt Definitely bigger teams than Macedonia, 100%. I'm not saying that Macedonia can't beat those teams on their day, but Ivory Coast are absolutely beastly on this game. Czech Republic are pretty good as well. Egypt are beatable, but they are still bigger than Macedonia. So we'll have to see. I do apologise if I don't get out this group, but you know me. I Even if I fail so hard in a World Cup run, I'll still put it on YouTube because... That's how transparent I want to be with my runs, because I want to show the struggle before the glory. And before we start, we are on legendary difficulty, the best way to play the game. Our first match is Egypt versus Macedonia. I'm really excited to see what Macedonia can do in this run, in this actual tournament that we just qualified for. You know, Pandev was very good in qualifying. A couple of the other Macedonian players were good as well. So I'm hoping that Pandev can carry us. But like I said, this group is quite a tough little group. It could have done with someone just slightly smaller than Egypt, maybe. Like someone like uh, a Zimbabwe or something like that. No matter how many times I play this game and come back to this game, you know, I must have done about 200 videos plus on this game alone. This game is still beautiful for a tw game released in 2010. It really is. Like, the graphics and everything are still really nice to look at. You know, I just wish, I always say this, I wish there was an updated version of this. Um, even if they just, like, you know, released a patch or something, if ever for 4K update or something on the, the graphics that we have now. That would be incredible, but that is just me dreaming too much. Come on, Pandev turns that defender, and Pandev has scored the first goal for Macedonia at an international tournament. Remember, prior to 2020, Macedonia hadn't qualified for a single international tournament. If you're thinking about this timeline, they're in 2010, so Pandev has still scored the first goal just like he did at the Euros for Macedonia's first ever tournament and it was a nice turn and smashed it into the back of the net. Questionable keeping but you know we'll just leave it alone and say that the goalkeeper wanted Macedonia to win. Up to the top to Pandev. Somehow we tackled Egypt and we're going through here. Is there a goal on the cards? Yes, there is. I thought the goalkeeper saved it, but obviously not. And Pandev has another one at this World Cup. 27 minutes in, and Macedonia are leading by two goals to nil. It was just a nice charge for on goal. Made the shot. It come off the keeper just a fraction. And then his animation kind of sort of, I don't know, it glitched or something. Didn't really catch the ball properly. And Pandev has made it 2-0. I'm not saying that the other Macedonian players are bad, it's just that Pandev rating exceeds the rest of them and Egypt have just scored there and then Zaki, that is 2-1. What a game we have already. They just crossed it in, simple header, it all, those kind of headers always go in if you are a small team. If you're a small team, defending those headers can be a bit of a nightmare. I have a nasty feeling that Egypt might pull off a comeback win in this one. They seem to be edging their way towards the box a lot more, being a lot more aggressive than Macedonia. Need to get Pandev more into the game because he can do stuff like this. He's just an absolute unit when he's going for on goal and it's just saved there. And that is going to be half time with the score at 2-1. Quite a thrilling game for a first World Cup match. Usually it's quite you know, sort of KG and it's a stalemate. But this one's kind of exploded into life. Pandev got tripped, but he can go forward here. And Pandev has just scored a hat-trick at a World Cup against Egypt. Pandev, the hat-trick hero with only about 29 minutes to play. Has he buried this game once and for all? It was a bit lucky because I got tackled as Pandev. Then number 13 came to retrieve it. And the Egyptian defence was a little bit out of sorts and were able to smash it in. Through ball here and Egypt are pressing. Amir Zaki saved. And that was a fantastic save to deny Egypt a second. 
This could be Macedonia's. This could be Macedonia's result at a World Cup. Their first ever one and fair play to him. Pandev was amazing. You know, he's fantastic in this game. Really, really on form. And he could get a fourth here if he wants to. It's Pandev. He's hit the par. Um, and he scored. Oh, thank God for that. That is a fourth for Pandev. I think I said par. I was like, oh, he's hit the par. Like, no, it's bar, obviously. Pandev has been absolutely sensational. To get the rebound and just calmly pull it in like that, usually some players will actually just fire it over the bar or fire it wide. And that is going to be it. Macedonia have claimed all three points in this first group stage match against Egypt. Egypt were okay. Like, I think the scoreline sort of makes it seem worse. Egypt were okay and did have a few shots, but Macedonia were way more clinical when they had their chances. Pandev was on fire. You couldn't even stop him. And he has four goals in a World Cup match for a nation like Macedonia. That's incredible. He could get the golden boot, even if they do go out in the group stage. Our second match is the biggest match and the hardest match. It's against Ivory Coast. This is arguably... Ivory Coast's best version that they've ever had and yet they still couldn't really do anything with their, this squad at World Cups. They qualified in 2010, uh, 2006 and 2014. Ever since then, we haven't seen them since. I have a feeling that Ivory Coast are going to punish me in this match. Like, absolutely destroy me. I think Drogba is going to have an absolute masterclass. Pandev out to Stoikov. Back to Pandev, he goes for the strike and it goes over the bar. Very unlucky for the first attempt on net. Oh, uh, Yaya Torre literally just took out one of my players just a second ago. He better not be injured. He is a very, very good midfielder to have on the squad. Go on, over the top. Oh, what a ball. Pandev, he's going through. It's Pandev, he scored again, and that is another goal to add to his collection. That is 1-0 against Ivory Coast, and the ball over the top was the ball of dreams. We scored early, which is kind of a bit of a bummer, because scoring early doesn't obviously guarantee you the win. Can easily come back for Ivory Coast, but I'm so happy that Pandev has got another goal at this World Cup, and what a finish as well. Like, that was really, really calm and composed finish, and Pandev has made it 1-0. Come on. Use that strength, use that form that you've collected, and that could have been a second. Pandev seems really strong already. And that is going to be half-time of the shocking scoreline of one goal to nil to Macedonia, thanks to Pandev. Ivory Coast, only one shot on goal. Really quiet in this first half. Maybe they just haven't found their the right gear, perhaps. I don't know. But I don't care. It's a good thing that they're not, you know, trying to score, at least for now. It might end up just like either as a 1-0 or 1-1, perhaps. Ivory Coast are defending quite well in this second half, but they just can't link up to the forwards. I know what they're trying to do is just one of these through balls that allows... DDA Drogba or like Solomon Kalou to run on through and tap it in. But they haven't quite got that yet. Macedonia fans are jumping for joy. This could be the moment that they go into the round of 16. But they brung on Dumbia, the king of sweat. Ivory Coast was literally just like, <laughs> like from 2010 to 2014 was like king of ultimate team sweat. I remember it so well. And that was a really weak attempt by Ivory Coast. Here comes Ivory Coast. Oh, you just knew it was going to happen. And it's DDA Drogba in the 82nd minute. We all know that Drogba is a clutch player, especially with headers, you know, with the Bayern Munich final in 2012. And he's basically done that here, hasn't he? But just a little bit different. Defenders stood off of him. You'd never stand off a of DDA Drogba like that. Never. That went. That was a bullet header. That was a really bullet header. Looks like it might not be enough here. No, it's only a 1-1 draw. But at the end of the day, that's a better result for Macedonia than it is for Ivory Coast. They had to rescue it at the end of the match. We didn't. We were in the driver's seat for the entire time. I just wish that we didn't concede that goal at the end. But 
nonetheless a very impressive result. So in Group E, we have this situation. We're top with uh, four points, and so are Czech Republic, but our goal difference is better. Ivory Coast have got two points. Now, here's the thing. Ivory Coast have got to play Egypt. we got to play Czech Republic. If we lose and Ivory Coast beat Egypt, then it's all over because they will have five points, and so are the Czech Republic, and we'll go out despite having a really, really good campaign. Here we go then against the Czech Republic for this one. I am a little bit confident about this because we drew against Ivory Coast. Okay, conceding in the last minute is never really fun. But at the same time, it does give me a bit of hope that I can beat the Czech Republic here. Crossed in. And I don't know why the goalkeeper didn't go up for that. That's the kind of thing that really annoys me. The goalkeeper was right there. If I did that against a computer... The computer would have just grabbed it. But because it's me, it didn't happen. 1-0 to the Czechs. Okay, fair enough. Like, we had to have a sprinkle of BS in this run, didn't we? Crossed in by the Czechs again. And Ivory Coast have equalised. I know what's going to happen now. I just, I can see it. I can just see it. We're not tackling very well now. Ever since I mentioned the fact that, yeah, that's 2-0. Nobody went to him. And, oh, this is just so cruel. This is so cruel because Macedonia were on top of the group and now the situation is really awkward. Really, really awkward. Over the top. Okay, Pandev. Come on. Oh, it's just so frustrating how like Pandev can do that against other teams, but the Czech Republic are his kryptonite right now. And, you know, half time and we're really struggling to get defensively into this game. It's 3-0. What has happened to Macedonia? What has happened to them? I don't understand. I just, I can see it clearly in my mind what's going to happen right now. Ivory Coast will get a second goal in the second half. You can probably see it. Unless Egypt do something to help us. So, that deficit, you know, the goal difference that we had in the... The last two games has been absolutely wiped off the face of the earth by the Czech Republic. And I can't believe the referees even allowing this to continue. Like, come on, just stop the half and actually get on with it. And Macedonia here, well and truly humbled. It's 3-0. We need something. We need to get a few more goals. There's no like proper tackling here. Um, it just keeps pinging back to the Czechs. Just feels like the game is like not allowing anything Macedonia way. I mean, I don't understand that. Why didn't number two header it? That is 4-0. 4-0. Oh, my God. That's the goal difference wiped away. How did number two not get that? This is a disaster. A final day disaster. I don't understand how Macedonia folded like this. Crossed in. And, um, well, we are on the verge of being absolutely destroyed here. That is five! Five nil! Oh my god! What has happened to Macedonia? Oh, I just don't get it. This is, this is a horrific, horrific ending. I'm just, I'm just stunned. I'm just stunned at how the game has done this. How have we just let the Czech Republic walk all over us like this? It's, it's embarrassing. It's absolutely embarrassing. It's just like when they let England walk all over them in real life. Crossed in, headed away. Czech Republic just absolutely owned me. Like, this is just full, full force legendary difficulty. Like, most of the time it's manageable. But this has been insane how we haven't been able to do anything. One through ball here, Georgieski. Can he do anything? No. Petacek saves. Still got it. Go on. Yes, it's 5-1. So we got one back at the end. But, uh, hor horrific game. Horrific. Like, I, I don't want to see anything more from this game anymore. I don't. The form that we accumulated is just gone. And how the Czech Republic made it look so easy. They weren't even, like, that try-hard. They're just moving the ball around really nicely and just making sure that I don't get a touch in. I mean, that... How did we not header it? It nearly went in, and we got battered by the Czech Republic. Absolutely battered. I don't want to see them in 
the knockout stages. I hope I don't run into them in the semis or the final if we get there. But my, my, Macedonia, you need to wake up. That was so lucky that Ivory Coast and Egypt drew. So lucky. Our goal difference got decimated in that one. So, look at the group then. We ended with a minus goal difference because we got absolutely destroyed by the Czech Republic. I'm still so mad about that. I know the Czech Republic are ranked ninth in the world uh, on the world rankings there, but... Uh, <laughs> I just can't believe we got rolled over like that. Nevertheless, we're in the round of 16 and we've got England. Oh, great. <laughs> Another team that could potentially stomp me. Okay, well, it's been fun, guys. It's been fun. But I guess... I mean, if I could beat England, that would be amazing. That would be simply amazing. But we've got some shock results here already in the round of 16. We've got Serbia beating the USA 1-0. We've got Greece beating France 2-1. We also have Czech Republic beating Holland 1-0. So, obviously, they're on a pretty good run of form right now. Spain beating Brazil. Um, and then we got Argentina beating Russia 1-0. Italy beating Portugal 2-0. We've got England versus Macedonia. And then after that, we've got Honduras versus Iran. I want to see what the Czech Republic did to my form in that one. I want to see it. Look at that, man. They absolutely obliterated my form. Literally. Like, some of these defenders are now in the red. Right, let's try and put that result behind us and see if we can get a shock win against England. Unlikely, but I'm happy that Macedonia got into the knockout stages of this tournament. I felt like they deserved it from the two performances we got in the group stage. It's just that, obviously, I don't know. I just don't know what happened. But I'm going to try and put it behind me. And I just need to perform against England. Going to be tough with an out-of-form team now. That was a good ball. Heskey gets cut out. We still got it. Can Pandev make the dream run? Possibly. It's Terry versus Pandev. Pandev goes for it. Hits the side netting. Unlucky. Very unlucky. At least we know we can hold off John Terry. If we need to make a run like that again. Glenn Johnson whips it in. Headed out. Done well to survive so far, but I'm a bit worried about the pressure England are putting on. That was a fantastic ball, good save. So at half time, it is 0-0 so far. Macedonia have uh, about one chance that hit the side netting. It was really unlucky that I couldn't position myself. England have had a few chances, but nothing yet. So yeah, it's all up in the air so far. No, oh, great save. I knew what Heskey was going to try and do, but at the same time, I was trying to mark Heskey as well. And he passed it to Rooney. I was like, this is a goal, but no. Saved with the legs. Good save. Gets on my nerves so much that England can just, like, clatter into you without, like, making the referee bat an eyelash. But you do the same to England, and it's like, yeah, foul. Just like real life, pretty much. Like, you can't touch in any of these big teams. And here comes Pandev. This better not be offside. Pandev. He could score. No. Ugh. Pandev. Look at the pace. Look at the pace. He scored against England. That's another goal and an unexpected one. Well, I guess from the run of play, I would assume that Macedonia did deserve it from hitting the post earlier on. But that is 1-0... And England are 1-0 down despite the fact that we lost 5-1 against the Czechs in the last match. So we just need to hold on and if we do beat England then that will be a great sort of way to carry on the run. No, no free kicks please. You know what happens. It's Gerrard or Lampard. They're just going to bend one in from this angle. It's going to be insane. It's Huddleston. Okay. Don't really know what to make of this. Oh, well, nobody went for it. And it was a tap-in by Julian Lescott. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, my God. That was horrendous defending. The urgency isn't there for Macedonia it, defensively. It just isn't there. I know they're a smaller team, but I sent the goalkeeper out as soon as it landed right there. I was like, please get it. But he didn't get it. Nobody as well actually got it. And, yeah, well, <laughs> I just... Don't lose your head. That's what I'm saying. Don't lose your head. Down to Gerard, 82nd minute. Into the middle. Heskey off the bar. That bar has just saved our run. Out to the wing here. 
Could Macedonia have a chance? It's crossed in. Pandev! Oh! Oh my god, I cannot believe it. The camera pulled away thinking that I scored a goal, but I actually did it because of the yellow card. Oh my god, that was the chance. That would have eliminated England, but we go into extra time and uh, the longer this goes on, the harder it's going to get. I can't believe we conceded late on in this match. We should have done a bit more to defend against that. It was an easily defendable goal but that's my fault I didn't actually pounce on the ball in time no that's not what we wanted this every single misplaced pass is pretty much cut out by England there and they went for the shot and that almost went bottom corner corner to Macedonia crossed in header yes yes come on it wasn't even Pandev either it was number two Noveski Noveski has scored and that is 2-1 in the 102nd minute against England. Oh, there was a massive error that uh, Noveski did in the previous match against the Czech Republic and I pretty much grilled him for it. Now he scored a, a potential winning header against England. I can't believe he got over Rio Ferdinand like that. That is insane and that is 2-1. Huddleston gets a second yellow. He's been sent off for that challenge. A bit harsh because it barely even clipped me. Look, see? Like, barely anything. But the referee decided that's a second yellow. And Tom Huddleston has been sent off for England. Oh, that's another foul for England. Is that going to be a uh, yellow? It is going to be a yellow to the goal scorer, Lescott. 120th minute. Surely this is going to be it now, right? Surely, one last attack from Macedonia. Going to keep pushing. Crossed in. Headed not there. Come on. End the game now, please. No, don't you dare. Through ball to Rooney. Oh, you've got to be joking, right? Back to the goalkeeper. Boot it away. Come on. Yes. We have beaten England in the round of 16. What a result for Macedonia. Especially, like I said earlier... Getting destroyed by the Czech Republic. Coming back like that against a massive nation like England is incredible. Now we have a quarterfinal either against Honduras or Iran. Which could be amazing chance to get into the semi-final and lock down top four. Alright then, so we're in the quarterfinals of this tournament and we have got Iran for our next match. I just wanted to point you to the direction of the tournament tree on the left hand side. Serbia have beaten Greece in the quarter final and the Czech Republic have beaten Spain by four goals to three. So maybe they are on a run of good form and I kind of understand why I got battered by them now. If they're beating the world champions back in 2010 by four goals to three then that is insane. So we have a semi-final between Serbia and the Czech Republic which is amazing. And on our side, we have got Argentina versus Italy and Macedonia and Iran. So whoever wins will go into the semi-final. Here we go then, Macedonia versus Iran. This could be a bit of a banana skin for Macedonia. After beating England by two goals to one in extra time in the last match, hopefully you'd think that we'd have the form to beat Iran. But that might not always be the case. Iran are a very good side from the Asia qualifying zone or Middle East if you prefer and yeah like like I said it could be a banana skin so we just got to watch out over the top here Iran pressing no defenders in the box and they missed that chance to go 1-0 up again defense was kind of scrambling kind of hard to make a decent pass at the moment feels like after every game Macedonia go back to their default form and it's like, no, I want the form that we got because we beat England. You know, we should be in really good form. And here we go. That was a good pass, right? No, Iran cut it out. Don't particularly want to go out to Iran here. And here comes Pandev. Come on. Saved. Saved by the goalkeeper. And that is still nil-nil. Again, like I said in the last game, Pandev needs to score more of those chances. In order to secure that golden boot, he really needs to score more of those. It's just one of those halves where Iran have just had a lot of possession, but they haven't really done an awful lot. And then we, when we go for on goal, we can't actually make the most of our chance. 
It's really just kind of stale when that kind of happens. Macedonia pressing. Namowski couldn't quite get rid of that one and it's a corner kick to Macedonia. Pop off, crosses it in. And okay, well nothing doing. An hour has been played and barely anything has happened in this game. Macedonia coming forward with Pandev. He pushes away past and that is a save and hits the post and just cleared away. How unlucky was that? The Iranian goalkeeper didn't save that one at all well and it could have bounced into the back of the net if he wasn't careful. Slide tackles galore. I just can't get anything going in this match. So frustrating, man. It is super frustrating. Here comes Pandev. Can he get it? No. And again, no, no, you're not going to score from that angle. Into the middle and it's cut out. Yeah, Iran are just playing for this penalty shootout, aren't they? They're just playing for a penalty shootout. Frustrating as anything. Come on, Pandev, you have to score this chance. No, I just can't believe it. That was a good save by the Iranian goalkeeper, but that should have gone in. Crossed in and that was terrible. Yeah, I, I don't want to take these players off, but at the same time... I'm going to have to, aren't I? I'm going to have to, to try and get a goal or two. I think I'm going to have to. We have to go to penalties and we lose. I'm going to be a little bit upset about that because we don't deserve to lose this kind of game. We don't. We really don't deserve to lose this kind of game. Pandev has no energy, but I need him on the pitch. I need him on the pitch. He's a crucial player to have on the pitch. If we're going to try and do anything... Into the middle here, this has to be. Yes, we scored. We have scored. Maznov, the substitute in the 114th minute. The assist from Pandev, I told you. Keeping him on was a good idea. And finally, we break down Iran's stubborn defence. And that is 1-0 with six minutes to play. Macedonia could be on for a semi-final in the World Cup against either Italy or Argentina. That is going to be full time. Macedonia have done it. They have reached the semi-final of the 2010 FIFA World Cup. This run has taken some unexpected twists and stuff, but we are here at the semi-final and it's surpassed my expectations, way beyond them. So, Argentina is our semi-final opponent to face before we go either into a final against the Czech Republic or... A third place playoff against Serbia. It's been a mental run. I can't believe the Czech Republic have reached the final. Well, I can, kind of, because they thrashed me with ease. Um, could Macedonia do it against Argentina and set up a revenge story against Czech Republic in the final? That would be incredible if they could. If not, then we'll have to make do with Serbia. But again, this run has surpassed all my expectations. Here we go then, semi-final time, and there's no expectations really for this one. Argentina are just going to be super difficult in this one. I'm so proud of how far Macedonia have come in this run. Surpassed all my expectations. I thought they'd be like around a 16 team at least, but they got to the semi-final. Guaranteed top four. Can we push them just that little bit extra? No. I was about to say. Then he caught my goalkeeper by surprise. Over the top. Oh my god. What a ball to Messi. Messi. He scored. I couldn't get anywhere near him. And that's 1-0 to Argentina. What a ball to Messi. Through ball. And here comes Tevez. No, please. Oh, you've got to clear that. You have to. Thank you. Oh, great save. Oh, thank goodness for that clearance. Yes, that's a penalty. I don't know how I ran into him, but it's a penalty. And this could mean an equaliser, please. Hopefully a red card. I, I hope so. Come on, ref. Brandish that red. I want to see it. No, okay. Pandev has the chance. It's in the yellow. That's really dumb. And it's a goal anyway. And that is 1-1. One, one. We got lucky there with that penalty. Pandev with another goal to add to his collection. Definitely got to get the golden boot, right? Surely at this point. Come on. Cross that in. Oh, how did that go in? How did that go in? And number 13 for Macedonia scored. It's Despotuski or whatever. Despotuski. 
And I can't even say that correctly, I'm sorry, but that was an incredible strike. Look at that, how did that go in? And <laughs> usually those get saved, but no, not that time. Macedonia taking a shock lead just before half time. Good challenge there on Tevez. I thought he was going to actually shoot. Just get rid of it. It's half time with the score at 2 1. Can Macedonia hold on for 45 more minutes? Through ball, Stoikov. Crossed in, that's a really good one, and we scored again! It's 3-1 in the semis! Unbelievable! That guy has scored, I haven't even seen him on the team! I don't even know, I don't even know who he is! I don't even know who he is! But that ball was wild! It was so close to the keeper and they didn't even pick him up! What was that defending by Argentina? 3-1 to Macedonia, what a dream run this is so far! This is incredible! Come on, Macedonia. One more goal would surely wrap this semi-final up. Surely. Argentina can easily overturn this deficit. But a 4-1? I don't know about that. Into the middle here. Up to Pandev. Go on, Pandev. Off the post. Go on. Please. Yes! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Pandev has scored. It's 4-1 against Argentina in the semis. This is just This is just wild. The way it came off the post and the goalkeeper and it just bounced in front of net like it was begging to be put in. Just incredible. Argentina just really just lost it. They've completely lost their composure. 4-1 to Macedonia. I think Messi's lost his head in this one. He just went in from behind against me. The Argentine fans are not happy about that one. Literally just took me out from behind. Um, it would be... Very funny if Messi got sent off in this one. Argentina, great passing there. That's a through ball. Here comes Ferran. No. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just passed it back to him. And he put it wide again. That is unbelievable how he missed three golden chances to score. And bring the scoreline with an reachable comeback. But no. I think he's blown it. With nine minutes to play, that's got to be it, surely. Through ball. Kicked away by the keeper. Oh, come on, ref. Blow that whistle, please. I want to get to that final now. I want to try and beat the Czech Republic again. Oh, no. Melito. He could go there. No. But Mascherano. Oh, my good God. How did they miss that? And that is final. semi-final over. Semi-final is over. I can't believe Argentina missed all those chances and collapsed defensively in that match. It's unbelievable because a semi-final is usually one of the hardest games because the computer will just make it so astronomically difficult for you. But Macedonia walked all over Argentina in that one. And now we've got a final against the Czech Republic, the team that smashed us 5-1 in the group stage. You couldn't make it up. You couldn't make it up. And if I win this final, it has to be one of, one of my greatest runs of all time. So in the third place playoff, Serbia beat Argentina by three goals to two. Pandev will definitely get the golden boot as well. As long as Milan Baras doesn't score like five goals in the next game, we know that Czech Republic are capable of doing that. But this final is going to be absolutely insane. I haven't had a final like this for ages where it's been like... Um, a team that shouldn't get to the final, obviously Macedonia, and a team that potentially could have, but never really gets a chance to. Czech Republic have had a dream run in this one, as have Macedonia. It's going to be an incredible final, and I can't wait for it. Luckily, that wasn't Pandev. I got scared then. All right then, so here we go. It's World Cup final time. And just so that we are still clear, we're still on legendary difficulty. I know that last match might have been hard to believe, but that is just the way things are sometimes in these runs. I can't believe it. I had to take five minutes out to sort of say to myself, wow, like, how did I do that? How did Macedonia do that? How did Argentina fold like that? So win or lose, it's going to be a really good run. Honestly, even if I lost in this final, it's still a decent run. But I really hope I don't lose in this uh, final because that'll be a bit cruel. For some reason, it said that Popoff was injured at the start of this uh, game. And then he's still on the squad. I don't understand that sometimes, how the game just sort of like makes that up. It's really odd. Pandev. Oh, that's dangerous. How is that not a pen? 
Namowski crossed in. The header wasn't there. Pandev. Oh, go on. Cross that back in. Oh, hang on. I think it was offside. Into the box. Oh, come on. You've got to be awake on that play. You've got to lose these people. Into the box. Oh, so frustrating. Like, I just cannot get that right shot off that I want. The angle and everything wasn't there. And here comes Milan Barros. The second top goal scorer at this World Cup. It's literally Pandev versus Barros in this one. Mark 2. Barros won the first round. But this is the round that actually matters. The World Cup final. Through ball. Oh, just cut out by the Czechs constantly in this one. They've been kind of like what Iran have been doing. But I bet you they will score in a second before half time. Yeah, there's a free kick. There's the catalyst that you need. Um, free kicks are never great. I hate conceding free kicks on this game. Crossed in. Oh, that was a bullet, wasn't it? And as we go into half time, it's still 0 0. Despite Macedonia having most of the chances on goal, we just need to finish it off. And. Oh, it's so frustrating because throughout the whole entire run, we've had chances where we need to score and we just don't do it. If we continue this same theme in this final, then we'll go out. We really will. I mean, look at that. Zero shots. So we can't actually get those chances at the moment. That's got to be a pen. I can't believe that. Oh, my goodness. Czech Republic have got away with those twice now. In this one. You can tell they're a little bit scared of Macedonia. Considering that they've repaired their form. And come back into this final. Alongside the Czechs. And really played well. Punched away by Petr Cech there. Uh, I couldn't get the shot off in time. An hour has played. I'm really nervous. Super nervous. Because nothing has happened. Nothing clear cut anyway. It's so frustrating in that regard. Where like you know. It's still nil nil with nothing happening. Cross that in. Back post. Oh, that was a bit odd. Oh my god, stop. These random deflections. Every time I go and make a pass, it's like deflected. Deflected again. Deflected. Over the top here. Can Pandev get there? No, he cannot. And that's going to be a throw into Macedonia with one second remaining. One second. I don't understand how half of these are fouls. I really don't. It's really taking like the edge out of the game. There's been no decent plays. Crossed in by Czech Republic. And that's headed out for a corner to the Czech Republic. I didn't even header it that way. But of course the game really wants it. Crossed in. Header. And that's another corner to the Czech Republic. This is what I mean. We could not go forward. And now they could finish the game off. Okay. Macedonia. You please defend. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. We go into extra time. Not ideal, but whatever. We need it. We need it. Frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. Frustrating. Because Czech Republic sucked the life out of that game, in a way. Yes, they had four shots, but Macedonia only had one. I don't understand, ref. How's that a foul? It's just jostling. This is really, really annoying. It feels like the Czech Republic have a um, referee on their side. Tackled by the Czechs. Funny how that wasn't a foul. Funny how that wasn't a foul, even though I've been doing that all game. This is not a very fun World Cup final. Into the box. Oh, that was close. A second chance for uh, Macedonia in this game. Only two chances in 105 minutes. And it's still 0-0 as we go into the final 15 minutes of this World Cup final. Pandev, please. He hasn't had any chances, really. It's Pandev. Yes! It's gone in! It's gone in! The finesse shot's gone in! And in, in the 111th minute, Pandev has scored. I literally just turned. I was like, all right, I'm getting closed down. What do I do now? Finesse shot. And it went in. It just went in, like casual as you like. Third shot. Third time lucky for Macedonia. And we've got nine minutes to play. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Good God. Macedonia are leading 1-0 in this World Cup final against the side that obliterated them in the group stage. A oh, referee, please. You've got to be... Okay, this better not. This better not. This better not. Please. Don't you dare. Okay. Panic over. Panic over. Once we boot this away, it's got to be end of the final. 
and Macedonia have won it all. Yes! 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 Come on! Macedonia from qualification all the way to the final on legendary difficulty. We've finally done it from qualification all the way to the final. Unbelievable. With Macedonia. With Macedonia against Czech Republic. Despite getting destroyed in the group stage, having our form damaged beyond repair almost. We beat England in the quarterfinal. We beat Iran in, well, actually, no, England in the uh, round of 16, sorry. Iran in the quarterfinal, and then in the semis, we dumped out Argentina. And then we beat the Czechs by one goal to nil in a very KG World Cup final. I can't believe it. I am so out of energy right now. It's unbelievable. I can't believe it. Like, I have won the World Cup with smaller nations on Legendary, like Moldova. That's one of my best runs. But... I didn't do it from qualification. I did it from the group stages. Macedonia have done it from the like qualification. From qualification. We've had to maintain form for three videos. Or two years in game time. If you think about it. Oh my god. I just want you guys to enjoy this moment. Um, I'm going to stop talking because my voice really hurts. Um, if you did enjoy this run and this series, then please give it a like and subscribe if you are new here with notifications on. This has definitely been one of my finer series. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video. And to them, they are champions of the world. They have proved themselves at the highest level. And nobody will ever take this away from them. Time to celebrate now, Clive. Over the last few weeks, there have been little time for, for any sort of celebration, but they deserve it now. They've stuck together and they produce World Cup winning football. And they will go on and they need fear nobody now. Nobody will want to play this side in the future. The world is quite literally their oyster. Well, thank you for joining Andy and myself for a memorable World Cup. These scenes just show what this trophy, what this tournament still means until Brazil in 2014. We wish you good luck and goodbye.